Now to a developing story, a new email controversy involving Vice President Mike Pence. Just released documents show he had used a private AOL account for state business as governor. And tonight, he's defending himself. While he didn't break any state law, he and fellow Republicans, of course, had blasted Hillary Clinton for her own use of a private email server while handling classified information as then Secretary of State. Our TV6 State House reporter Katie Hines joins us live. And Katie, what's actually been covered in those emails from the governor? Jason, matters of Homeland Security, we have 29 pages of emails sent between 2014 and 2016 released by the state today, and they show that then Governor Mike Pence communicated with top level advisors, members of his cabinet on a number of topics, including public security while serving in this office. We're also learning that during that time, his private account was the target of a phishing scam. Vice President Mike Pence says there is absolutely no comparison between his use of a private email account and Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server. We had outside counsel review all of my uh, private email records to identify any emails that that ever referenced or or mentioned uh, business state business related activities and as Indiana law requires we transferred all of those to the state of Indiana. The emails dated 2014 to 2016 include this message from the executive director of the Indiana Department of Homeland Security reading in part I just received an update from the FBI regarding the individuals arrested for support of ISIS and the reply well done from then Governor Mike Pence to the head of IDHS who wrote this after the shooting at the Parliament of Canada. We have alerted our National Guard, ISP and Law Enforcement Academy to be vigilant at state facilities and military institutions. Several emails also discuss the settlement of Syrian refugees, including this message with talking points from Pence's deputy chief of staff. We asked our RTV6 Indy This Week insiders if there are any political implications. Seems to me that it would have been a much better thing for the public to have known that uh, Mike Pence was being an incredible hypocrite um, during the campaign rather than months after the campaign is over. I don't think there are a whole lot unless there's just some conversation, something that's been taking place that is just so beyond the pale people you know, conspiring to engage in you know, government corruption or you know, defrauding the taxpayers. And we're told that some email emails were withheld from this bunch because they're confidential. Reporting live at the State House, Katie Hines, RTV6. Katie, thank you. Governor Eric Holcomb was asked today about the email policy for those in his administration. He had this to say. We expected uh, our administration to use private email accounts for private email, mm -hmm. work email accounts for work email. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you get if you get a work-related email to your private account, kick it over and get it in that pipeline. Mm -hmm. um, and so we'll continue to have that policy. Governor Holcomb says he does have his own personal account for personal email, but if he gets that work-related email there, he follows that policy and, in his words, kicks it over to the right account.